Hi, my name is Rashmi and this lesson talks about what happened when the earth shook. Can you see the picture here? And when the earth starts shaking, such kind of uh, scene can be seen. Okay, moving further we have here few objectives to discuss. We are going to discuss scenario of a village when people experienced earthquake help arrived, reports on earthquake, what should we do in case of earthquake, making similar reports on drought and famine. Here we have a picture of earthquake affected area. It was the time of year 2001 and the day was Republic Day, 26th January. When all the villages of the Kutch area of the Gujarat that together had gathered together to watch the parade on TV, all of a sudden the ground was shaking. There was panic all over, people were running here and there to save their life and the incidence after the earthquake is somewhere like this. So many people got, got injured and so many died. At that time, what are the two things which you have done? Do you think what could be the two things has been done by the people? Give it a thought. Moving further, we have a scenario of a village after an earthquake. The two things which everyone was doing at the time to save the people who were trapped, to treat the injured. It was cold winter and everyone was awake in the night due to the fear of another earthquake. Our Sarpanch gave rice and wheat to everyone. Here is a little picture in which a person is trying to collect the food for the people who got injured due to the earthquake. Here are some more about help arrived. After some time when people get to know about the major crisis, people came forward to help. They helped us by giving food, medicine, cloth and by putting up the tent. So these are the few things that have been done by the people who came for the help. <coughs> and then with the help of engineers and architects, we rebuilt our houses with clay and cow dung. There was constant coverage by the TV media. So that's how the news is spread all over that when the where the media reached the spot and they cover everything every damage of the of the particular spot to give three exact information about the place to the authorities army jawans came there and helped in rescue operation here are few uh, brief uh, idea about the help so we got government helpers, we got some NGOs, NGOs are the national government organization and those are built specially for helping poor. Individual help from different parts of the country, help from abroad, help from scientists, help from architects. All the millennials, VIP people from all over the countries, all over the different background, they came over and helped the needy. Now, there was a report published regarding the earthquake in Nepal. It was May 12, 2015. More than 8,000 people killed and 21,000 were injured. More than 850 buildings have fallen in the city of Nepal. It was a very big earthquake actually. Thousands of people are made homeless with the entire village, flattened century old buildings are destroyed the risk of a large earthquake was well known beforehand if sufficient steps were taken damage would have been far less india is also providing every needed help to the neighborhood country so this is a kind of format of the report has been published about the earthquake in nepal so we have a table which has a brief uh, idea about what should be done before an earthquake, during an earthquake and after an earthquake. Before an earthquake we need to know what is first aid, construct earthquake resisting building, 
learn how to turn off the gas that's really important during an earthquake no need to be panic stand against a wall don't use any kind of flame don't use electronic device yeah that's the major point that electronic device should not be used during an earthquake after an earthquake provide first aid first aid check gas and electric lines are for damage stay away from damage areas don't use phone unless it is very urgent so here we have some important points you can use this picture to learn what to do during an earthquake so drop cover and hold on just just hold on something like kind of pillar kind of kind of any kind of thing that you can hold properly and you just hold it and sit there quiet no need to be panic and switch off the gas and don't use your phones making similar reports on drought and uh, famines it's a situation we have something about drought and famine it's a situation when there is no rain and because there is no rain no crop productivity so people uh, people start starving as there is no crop no food and that causes drought it's a situation when there is a scarcity of food people don't have food to eat so basically famine is a result of drought and report a piece of information about something so like the report we have here about earthquake this is a format of a report making family report on drought and famines uh, list of the thing one should know before writing a report on drought and famines cause of the event damage caused by the event group which helped after the event precautions learning from the event so here we are learning how to write a report on drought and famines or any natural disaster now in this slide we have a particular question that you can choose any natural disaster or any incidents and you can practice of writing the report inside this box and at the end we have a little assessment for you so please do make sure you complete these questions before finishing this video if you find any difficulty you can replay the video and then complete these questions thank you for watching for more please visit justutors.com